So surprising nobody, Magic the Gathering has decided that uh, they need to hire this company called Sweet Baby Inc. Now, who is Sweet Baby Inc. in case you don't play video games? Uh, Sweet Baby Inc. is actually quite famous. Uh, they basically, uh, I guess the CEO describes it best that either you're going to pay us or we're going to troll you online with our, you know, get in touch with your marketing department and let them know we are just going to hate you. We're going to call you racist, sexist, anything so we can get paid. So again, this whole idea that these companies really care about gamers and gaming is not true. They just uh, want to get paid. They charge a lot of money. And that's why, you know, they get paid essentially not to attack you and to take your game and diversify it. So they have done this to many, many different games. And it has ended in the same exact way for a lot of these games um, where no one wants to play them. Uh, because the game itself is unplayable. So let's read Sweet Baby Inc. was founded in Montreal by former Ubisoft developers, including scriptwriter Kim. Kim is the president and the product manager David. So they are Canadian, which explains a lot of things. Online backlash and harassment. On October 2023, Sweet Baby attracted David's attention where a user described the company's involvement in Alan Wake 2 as possibly one of the biggest scandals in gaming history. Belair said Sweet Baby Inc. did not contact Steam's owner Valve regarding the group. Theories about the studio included what that it was indirectly or indirectly con controlled by investment company BlackRock. Oh, not great. Uh, it was responsible for recent failures in high-profile games such as Su Blank Squad, and for recent industry layoffs. Multiple journalists described their disproven ideas as conspiracy theories. Several were based on isolated statements made by Sweet Baby employees on social media or at conferences. So yeah, it looks like Wikipedia is uh, trying to protect them. They're actually much, much worse than uh, you can imagine. And this whole idea of attempted doxing, like if you're proud of your work, why would you not? Like, you know, on my other channel, Lust, I... I it's my full name on every single description. It's, you know, my bar certificate. You know, I'm a lawyer. Like, if you're proud of what you're doing and you're proud of the content you're creating, why is this, like, doxing thing such a big problem? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it is it is what it is, right? So they made all these games, and at the end of the day, no one wants to play their games. Um, they want to take a look at Kim. Writer, narrative, uh, Concordia University as the Federal Bureau of Control headquarters faces a deadly and prolonged. So she's actually active on LinkedIn. She is acti actively active on LinkedIn. And the people on LinkedIn love her. Right? Like, I, they're making a shit ton of money from this, man. They are making a shit ton of money from this. And I guess she's not getting the backlash she normally gets on LinkedIn. So her bachelor's is in commerce and marketing. Full time, uh, May 2018. We are, yeah, they have some huge, huge clients. They're just milking the main place. So instead of like, hey, your game, instead of like paying money to make, make better mechanics, they pay, pay Kim to change the game. In the, a better way, I guess. Uh, and th th I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. It is pretty, pretty bad. Sweet Baby Inc. CEO Kim. So let, let's go on news. I know there's been a lot of news. I know Asmund Gold. Sweet Baby Inc. CEO Kim Belair reflects on company backlash. Says anti-DEI. Diversity. What's IE mean? Critics are coming together under the rally, rallying cry of the far-right supremacy. Uh, yes. Um, part of the greater movement. Far-right thing. Oh, yes. Sweet Baby Inc. blames gamers and YouTube for hate campaign. Sweet Baby Inc. detected has surpassed 300,000 followers on Steam. So, yeah, they made this group where they uh, tell you what games Sweet Baby Inc. You know, like when you pay a consultant... At worst, you want them to be neutral. You definitely do not want them 
to destroy your game. And that's what they have done. What is Sweet Baby Inc. and Gamergate 2.0? Oh, Gamergate. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's not great. Like, yeah, if, if the people don't want your game, they don't want your game. Like, it's not anything um, about you, right? Final Fantasy in Kingdom of Hearts development studio Square Enix. Appears to have ended working relationship with Sweet Baby Inc. So there's hope there. Bandai, Namco, and Reflector Entertainment's unknown Nine Awakening shaping up to be a financial disaster as ugly character models and Sweet Baby Inc.'s influence repel fan. Yeah, anytime Sweet Baby Inc. is like linked to a company, it's basically um, a disaster. And guess who Sweet Baby Inc. is linked to here? It is Magic the Gathering. Uh, it is Magic the Gathering. So, yeah, I mean, they literally have this thing called, like, Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, and it has 300,000 followers already, and the whole purpose is for people on this Valve thing not to download the game. Woke gaming consultants epically fail at censoring gamers' face of massive, massive, and this is a small, I think there's, like, 16 people in this company, Right? And they're like one of the most hated companies in at least America, and they're Canadian, right? Um, pretty crazy. Uh, pretty crazy, in my opinion. What was happening? Uh... I think at the end of the day, um, this is a very bad sign, uh, a very, very bad sign for most Magic players that Sweet Baby Inc. is highly engaged in Magic the Gathering, especially Commander. You can, you can see it everywhere, but Commander is really, really obvious, right, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it, it's one of these things where, hmm, I'm looking for like the, the comment from Asmund Gold, I'm lo looking for the comment as Asmund Gold, uh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting, what, let, what do you guys think, what do you guys think in the comments below? About Sweet Baby Inc. Because I, I don't think people talk about them in terms of Magic the Gathering. But they're, they're one of their biggest clients is Wizards of the Coast. Which is two IPs. Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons. So it's got to be both, right? Anyway, bye guys.